Hey Hans, welcome to Muning. My name is Destiny. So, it is a regular, regular day in Johannesburg, South Africa today. Nothing exciting is happening. I don't know why I'm vlogging, but here we are anyway. I have my yoga mat here, but I'm not going to do yoga this morning. I've been up to something, trying to get my summer bod on. But um, I've been doing this thin X exercise thing and it's been two weeks now. I've been trying to be consistent with it. But yeah, man, I'm trying, eh? I'm trying. It's been two weeks, so I think that's good. I think the cool thing about it is like it's just a 10 minute, 8 minute workout. So it's easy for me to be like, okay, it's just 8 minutes of my life. I'm gonna get through it, get it done, whatever. They say it's for beginners, but I have suspicions that it's not because it's quite hectic. It's well, not as hectic as Chloe Ting's challenge. I, I couldn't. It was just, it was insane. Like, what's this for? So here I am <laughs> trying something else. Uh, it's quite hectic, but it gets the job done. All right, let's get sweaty. <laughs> jumping squats it's time to wash off the sweat back in my favorite place in the house the bathroom the sound in there is probably so terrible but whatever slap on so i want to do a little bit of my face and then get the hell out of here because it's still kind of hot and now with the light it's like extra hot I really don't want to be here for a long time. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know. I. There's actually something that I've been meaning to bring up, right? But I never really know when a good time is. So I guess, um, what's a better time than when I'm beautifying myself? And it's this whole notion of learning to love yourself. I think that is kind of problematic because loving yourself is not easy i mean it's not something that you can just wake up and choose to do it's not uh, a task that you can scratch off your list of to do things so uh, first of all how would you measure it how do you know that you've actually gotten to a point now where you're like yeah i love myself loving someone takes a lot guys it's it's not just a decision you make in your head the act of love is about giving so like it's immeasurable and anything that you can't measure it's kind of futile. Why are you doing it? You know what I'm saying? I think accepting yourself is a more realistic thing to achieve. And it's more humane. Like, for example, I accept who I am, who I look like. And I'm willing to change for the better. You know, I'm not glued to who I am right now. I'm willing to shift and change and become the person that I think is the best version of me. You know what I'm saying? But when I say I love myself, I'm trying to think like in all my changes, will I hinder my growth because I have chosen to love that person that I was yesterday? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know how to explain it any better, but um, also this whole thing of uh, people who love themselves, I think it creates kind of a narcissistic society where everyone is just so self-obsessed with themselves that they're always talking about themselves they're always trying to take things and show love to themselves that i think it creates a society of people who are very self-centered and because loving yourself demands you to think about yourself all the time and i don't want to do that i don't want to always be thinking of oh do I love this about myself or trying to force myself to love things about myself like there are some things I don't like about myself and that's okay like it's fine and with that comes a, a peace of some sort you know like I'm not talking about like the idea of like walking around not caring you can still care about yourself you can still love your image you can still 
love your life without self-obsessing you know i'm literally sweating as i'm doing this makeup <sighs> and like here's the thing again about loving yourself is that it's been i don't have the big fancy words it's also promoting consumerism people are profiting from it from this whole learn to love yourself thing that it doesn't feel right anymore you know like if you love yourself you're gonna pamper yourself if you love yourself you're gonna buy this product if you love yourself you're gonna wear these kind of clothes and you're gonna buy from these kind of stores if you love yourself you and i don't think i want to buy into that i don't think i want to be that person who is chasing the dream of loving themselves to a point where people are just profiteering from me for that for loving myself like because think about it it doesn't benefit anyone else but you if you accept yourself it's like it's like how telling yourself that you are beautiful and being beautiful has been what consumerized i, I don't know i still don't have the fancy word for it but what if people didn't want to be beautiful you know what if people just wanted to be you know just exist and I mean, look at us, like in order for us to feel our best selves, sometimes like in order for us to feel like our most acceptable selves. Okay, let me, let me, let me not say us, I'm talking about me now. Like, I think makeup gives me that, like that um, the best version of destiny is when her eyebrows are darker, when her skin is more evenly toned. And it's not even like dramatic things, you know, it's not even like, I'm trying to hold on. And it's not even like dramatic things, you know. It's not even like I'm trying to have the fair skin, the light skin, or the darker skin. I'm not even trying to have the perfect makeup look or you know a cat eye or whatever. Like it's just simple things like putting concealer so that my spots are in the background and not so loud in my face. It's it's literally like little things like that, but that's been consumerized that's makeup that's what makeup does and i'm okay with that actually i'm not mad at that i'm not mad at that at all but like wouldn't it be cool if i thought my best version of myself was any version of myself that'd be cool but like this is this is life guys this is the world we live in anyway that's my two cents on beauty <laughs> And loving yourself and versus accepting yourself that's where I am right now I've chosen to accept myself and to love myself it's much easier and it benefits me and nobody else should I lay edges to my really old hair to make it look a little bit vibrant maybe I should yeah shame I should really take off this hair this weekend it's about time it's about time all right so here is the outfit of the day <laughs> i think this could be a thumbnail even so what's gonna happen now is that i'm just gonna clean up this kitchen a bit make some food and eat so yeah what's the title of this video anyway it's such a weird video <laughs>
I'm sitting outside while I have my breakfast this morning because the sun is out and it's shining so nice and brightly. Welcome to Mening, my name is Destiny. So today we will be cropping this gorgeous denim jacket. <sighs> what is coming over me? I don't know. First of all, I don't wear this jacket often and that's because I feel like there's something missing about it. I love the color, I love the fact that it's light denim, so it's really, it feels really nice, but I don't wear it often because there's just something about it that is just missing and I figured it is not cropped. So let me show you how it fits. Okay, so this is how it sits at me now, right? And I feel like it'd be cuter if it was like this short rather. I feel like it'll add that edge that it's missing. And I'll show you a couple of outfits that you can match it with that will make your outfits look better. Because I believe that you don't need new clothes to juice up your wardrobe. Sometimes, you can turn a goody oldie into a goody newie. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just cut this up. First things first, you want to lay down flat on a flat surface. You'll need a couple of things. You'll need a marker, you need a pair of scissors, and something with a straight edge. Like a ruler, but I have a book, so we're going to use a book. I figure I want it like over here, under the third button. I'm going to put my ruler book mark where I want it to be uh, yeah it's very light but it's visible and a cool beverage is necessary for a hard task like this so here I have my cranberry juice with ice because a cool mind releases cool ideas <laughs> and I'm not very worried about cutting a straight line or whatever because I want this to look as DIY as possible anyway you do what you have to to get to that scissor going. Ooh. All right, let's do the fitting. That is it. All right. What have I done? I might have overcropped it. I did not mean to crop it this high up. No, I can make this work. Let's put on some cute outfits to match this cute little jacket we just made. Paired with this bandeau top and this mini skirt, I think it looks kind of cute. And I also think wearing it off the shoulder like a cool kid is also kind of cute. All right, so here's outfit number one. I am so sorry, my lighting is just not agreeing with me today. Outfit number two. And I kept the bandeau and changed the skirt to these high waist jeans. It looks cuter when it is accentuated that it is cropped you know something high-waisted would emphasize the fact that it's cropped and and not just small on me yeah bandeau top kind of does the same job as well so for this one i was wondering to myself i wonder what it would look like with something with a very strong pattern and i don't know it's crossing the line between ugly and cute and i think i like it and for this one I wanted to pair it with something that every jacket should look good with. So if it doesn't go well with this one, then it's a real disappointment. Okay, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of cropped this higher than I wanted it to be. And I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I like it more after um, I've washed it because then it'll we'll have those details at the bottom here and make it look more funky. Maybe I will. Please let me know how you feel about it. Be honest, do you think I could make this work or should I just shove it and make something else out of it? I am gonna go upstairs now and spend the rest of my day there. Thank you for spending the morning with me, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Love me better. I just want you to love me better. I've been drinking a lot.